Today is December 13th. I've been home five days now. Something arrived in the mail yesterday. Kent Har, my uh, MLA, uh, talking about health care. So, isn't that timely? I will be getting in touch with Mr. Har about his seven point health care plan uh, because it's really just pie in the sky. After having spent that 41 days, uh, I can give them some suggestions I think that would work out quite well. One of the things I wanted to mention today on uh, page 26 of the Alberta Health Services org chart, and I'll repeat that this is current as of September 30th, 2011, uh, which is on the org chart on the bottom of each plate page. But uh, on page 26 is the Office of the Patient Concerns Officer, a gentleman by the name of Steve Richardson. Uh, it had been suggested that uh, I contact uh, that office with some of my concerns, uh, which I did do uh, on November 28th. Monday, November 28th. I sent an email to Mr. Richardson uh, and accompanied it with one of my YouTube videos to say, here's some of the issues, you know, here's my concerns. What can be done about them? And I realize that there isn't a simple answer for that because a lot of the issues that are going on here are quite systemic. Uh, they're systemic within this whole government uh, because the response I got back uh, which came on December 1st, so relatively uh, quick, a relatively quick return. Uh, but it was, good morning, please forward your contact number to our office and details of your specific concern. If you would like to speak with a representative with the Office of the Patient Concerns Officer, please do not hesitate to contact us at, uh, interestingly enough, it shows the American flag, uh, 1-866-561-7578. Now, as I said, I sent an email. I sent a four-minute video explaining my concerns. So, needless to say, I wasn't super enthused with this type of response. I've spent the last three years uh, getting those types of responses from Family Services for Children with Disabilities, which was run through a different ministry. Uh, but I had three years of, oh, go and talk to this person, go and talk to that person, oh, come and meet with this group, oh, come and meet with that group, and nothing ever got done. Uh, and this is already the process that I see starting with the Office of Patients Concern. Uh, I was very explicit in the video I sent. Uh, it's face-to-face, -face, so how can you not see the concern there? So I have a very nice what I call PFO note. Uh, you know, they're acknowledging, but they're not doing a damn thing about it. And that seems to be what this government does. So to my MLA and Mr. Har, uh, all the more power to you on this, but uh, I think you're approaching the whole healthcare issue incorrectly. Uh, the biggest issue I see with healthcare here, and it's really, it's really a tragedy, but is through the administration of it itself. I think it's beneficial that I'd spent 17 years away from Alberta because when I came back, uh, I was able to see the, the, the changes that had happened in my 17-year absence. A lot of my friends that have stuck around here, it happened incrementally, so they don't, we've discussed this, they didn't really recognize the degree to which things have fallen apart. So while our health care has been falling apart, our health administration has been building itself into a super agency. But that seems to be what this government prefers to do. Uh, overload the middle of the sandwich with bureaucracy and then give the thin end to the, to the consumer and let the chips fall where, where they may with our politicians because from reading Mr. Har's and the Liberals platform here uh, I'm, I'm not convinced they really know what the issues are. So that's my thing for the day. Again, as I said, it was page 26 of the org chart. Uh, the gentleman 
Steve Richardson uh, reports to a Dr. David Megren, who's the executive vice president and chief medical officer. Uh, but if this is the way they're going to deal with patient concerns, I don't have time for this because it's just more bureaucratic crap. So that's my little spout for today. Uh, hang in there. I'm not giving this up. Uh, healthcare is, uh, as I said, I've come back and I've seen just how far it's fallen. Uh, uh, and it's, it's happening all around us. So uh, I'm not even going to get into some of the other issues, but the, the hearing today or just this week about the uh, developmentally handicapped person that was scalded, that died from being scalded to death in the hot bathroom is an indication. Uh, that's also health care, by the way. Providing those services is health care. So there's another indication of how far we've fallen. And we can't continue to let this go on. So people, speak up. I'm giving you leads here. It's steve.richardson at albertahealthservices.ab.ca. That's his email address. They don't put the email addresses on the website, but they're not hard to find out. Everybody on that list, that will be their email address at albertahealthservices.ab.ca. Throw in their first name, put a dot in between first and last name, and the email is going to get there. But right now, all the site has on it is 1-800 numbers, and I don't want to talk to uh, a call center. Anyway, that's it for today. Have a good day. Talk to you later. Just one man's opinion.